Tiana, what's it like for you to get back? I mean, you had all the success last season, but then the injury and having to deal with all of those ramifications, what's it like for you to beat it at this point? Um, I think a blessing in disguise. You know, last year, you know, coming from you know, the high point of my life and just getting hurt and just um, going from the highest into the lowest. But I, I just feel like I, I've, uh, you know, used that as fire and used that as momentum to, to get me back to where I was, uh, to where I am today. And there's a lot of stuff to improve on, especially my knee, um, especially as well as the mentality of the game. But, yeah, it's just using it as fire and, you know, moving on from there. What's it like to try and break into the rotation? Because Peeney and Tyler, they've been playing well and, and doing some nice things. So what's it like to try and earn some of those few reps that you guys get? Um, so just reverse back to last year. You know, I, I came in mid-season. Um, you know, again, what I said before, what my mom said, just play your role and, you know, wear your time. So, you know, I'm in the same situation. I'm not disregarding Tyler or Beanie, you know, um, but, you know, I'm just in the same situation. So just waiting my turn, being patient, you know, strengthening my knee and, you know, earning and getting the reps I do get, just going 100% and doing the best I can. Hey, we'll take a question from uh, Mitch Harper, KSL, and then Sean Walker, KSL.com. Yeah, Sione, uh, who, who did you maybe train with and, and um, the work maybe you, you put in to get back on the field coming back from that ACL injury? Um, you know, just our, our strength staff, um, you know, Justin Anu, just getting me right, doing the extra lifts, um, you know, as well as Steve Pincock you know, over there at the training facility, you know, trying to get those, you know, those weird movements and those weird cuts that I used to do last year. Um, you know, mentally trying to get that down and as well as, you know, just trying to do stuff on my own. You know, if I, if I have an extra five, ten minutes of my day, um, just, you know, go for a little run, a little jog, just to see, you know, how well my knee's doing and um, what I can improve on. And how would you assess your play from that, uh, from your first game action since last November against Idaho State? How, how would you assess the way you played last Saturday? I have a lot of improvement. Um, I think the mental aspect of the game, you know, my pre-snap reads and, you know, finding the open gaps, I think that's an area that I can work on as well as, you know, again, my knee, my, you know, my juking, I really can't um, do that as well. So I have to utilize other things and use my speed more. And, yeah. Shone, it's, it's no secret you're in a, a pretty – crowded running back room. I think that's probably the best way to put it with, with some really good dudes out there. Do you ever kind of just stand back and look at the other running backs at Tyler and, and Lopini and even Mason getting in there and some of those other guys and just go like, dang, Uso, like, like these guys are good. Heck yeah, I do. The, some of the plays that Tyler and Lopini make, it just like shocks me. You know, I'm, you know, I'm like so happy and glad for them. You know, they were there for me when I was, you know, um, blowing up last year and why not be that, that kind of teammate to them this year. Every time they get to make a great play, um, touchdown, man, I'm like the first dude to like run on the field. Like, everyone's trying to get back. I'm like, heck no. Like, I've seen these dudes work and I've seen the worth ethic. It's, it's a blessing to see and the blessing to be part of. Okay, we'll take a question from uh, Brandon Marcello and then Jay Drew. Yeah, um, you know, I'm working on a story, I guess, like everybody <laughs> about Zach Wilson and spending the time you have with him and seeing what he's doing this year. Um, I'm sure it's been incredible. And on the national stage, how, how do you think he kind of stacks up against everybody else out there? Um, I think he played with the best of the best, you know. Um, his worth ethic is crazy. First dude to get in, the last dude to come out. Um, and is, you know – his sportsmanship and the way that he carries himself throughout practice, you know, trying to get those little things right, you know, down to like to the wire, you know, today I was a, I was a, a yard too far behind him. He looked behind me. He's like, you know, your alignment's eight yards, right? And I went, yeah, yeah you're right. And I stepped up and I'm like, man, what kind of leader is this? I, I love it. You know, those things to keep, you know, people accountable as well as our team, you know, just trying to be at their best and, you know, trying to compete every every day. So he's a competitor at the little things, and it's going to carry on. Sione, as you, as you were going through your rehab and all that, 
Um, were you with like Hank Tui Pelotu and some of these other guys? Did you bond with other guys who were kind of in the same process and path that you were on as far as rehabbing? Yeah, I was with Hank Tui Pelotu and recently just, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Ropati, uh -huh. um, our, our, running, our transfer that I came from, um, what you call. So just learning their stories and, you know, trying to work together. You know, through this thing, because, man, it's, it's a long journey uh, to an ACL. But, you know, having people with you through that journey makes it way better. Um, you know, just laughing together and, you know, just going through the grind. Mitch Harper, we'll take one more question from you. Yeah, Sione, you've seen the offense kind of evolve during your time at BYU every step of the way with Jeff Grimes. Uh, since that first year, I mean, where do you, what's led to this just kind of drastic change of efficiency and just explosive nature that this offense is putting up this year from, from your vantage point? Um, I think just, you know, that we can make plays, you know, last year that we didn't make that many plays, you know, Jeff Graham is just embedded into us during fall camp and until this day, they, you know, you've worked so hard and why not get the benefit from it? You know, so we try to put so much time into our offense and, you know, again, individually to the wide receivers, tight ends, to the running backs, quarterbacks, even to the O-line, you know, trying to get those little wriggles together so when it comes down to it that we've put in more work than our opponent, our opponent, and, you know, just doing that. 